Hi, you're with the Hairy Golfer on holiday. I am on the west coast of Wales today and welcome to Newport Lynx. I've never been here before. I just spotted it on Google Earth as being near to our accommodation for two weeks. So I thought I'd come out and play. The clouds have broken up and we've got some sunshine. So uh, I'm going to try and share my thoughts today on how I'm going to tackle this golf course. I haven't done a great deal of research. All I've done is turn up, pay me green fee. Now the pros pressed a course planner into my hand for nothing. Nice man indeed. Golf course is empty because everybody's on the beach. What a great idea to come and play golf. Right, the opening hole here is 338 yards. Now my golden rule is if a par four is 350 or even 360 or less, I've got to have a very good reason for hitting driver. Now my very good reason for hitting driver here is I've got a wide fairway. I like to get my driver out early and around if I can. The wind is off the right, which is going to compromise the sound of it today, unfortunately. But until I upgrade my gear, we've got to live with it. So this wide fairway, plenty of room, wind off the right in case I block it or cut it. So let's get out the driver. Not the greatest tee shot on the planet. I got one, two, one up here. I can see one bunker, I know there's others, but it's not a difficult shot. Well, until you fat it. This isn't difficult either. I'm planning on this being a lynx type of firm bounce. And it just didn't only just made it onto the green by two or three inches. That's my par putt. So, starting with a bogey. <laughs> View's good though. Well, not the start we want, but nothing we can do about it. We've got to accept it. Second hole, 297. I've lasered some of the rubbish out there and I've decided that the hybrid is the job just to lay up short of the rubbish. Now, when you're laying up, this is when you really do need to focus on a target and a spot, because we get lazy when we're laying up. We think it's easy, so we don't put our mind to the job. So, I need to put my mind to this job, even though I'm sort of um, playing chicken. Well, I think I'll check my alignment later because that is well left. Well, the hybrid was the correct club. As you can see, I've got some gorse behind me. If I'd miss right, there's a fairway bunker over there. And I don't want to be in any of those today. So part of getting around the golf course is identifying the hazards and hitting clubs that won't go in them. Now I've got 89 to the blind green. Wish me luck. Well, the layup went wrong, but on the other hand, I'm at the side of the green in two with a chip for a birdie. If I'd taken driver off the tee, it might have been a lost ball. So, 
no harm done. And, and that's, that's the important thing about course management is if you've got the right club in your hand, even if you hit a bad one, you're not actually doing yourself any particular harm. And there we go, pa. So, job done, really. Third hole, got a very smelly flag back right. Tee box is very long and fluffy, so I wasn't too sure how I was going to contact the ball. The only thing I really wanted to do was to stay safe left. And I've done exactly that. Um, a stone. Right, I've got a very, very long putt here and I'm coming up the step and the greens are incredibly slow. That's one thing I've learned so far. So some very, very long practice swings here. Now after the last practice swing, I'm staring at the flag and I'm imagining the ball rolling to the hole. And I give this one hell of a wallop, I can assure you. Comes up the step and just dies. Now what I'm doing here is I'm dropping a ball marker on the green. Because this is a practice round, it's not a competition. I throw down my ball marker and then I can go back and have a second go at that putt after I've finished the hole. And I did have a second go. And I didn't do any better. I've got 10 or 11 feet here. Now the trouble with this camera position is it doesn't quite show you exactly what happened, what I can see from my side of the hole. A scoring putt like this, I'd always pull the flag out, but we're not allowed to touch them. That hit quarter inch left of center, then it hit the left edge of the hole, and then it's lipped around the back. Here we go again. No, I'm counting that in, because without a flag, that's in. Right, fourth hole, 360. It's fairly wide, so I'm going to wail away with the driver here. There's a bit of rubbish down the right, but the wind's off the right, so that's going to save me if I uh, hit it right. I've hit me drive a little bit off the bottom. I'm in the left rough. It's a bit thick and juicy, this one. Bit much to hope to actually reach the green. Simple chip and run, except for the greens being slow. Well, I've hit this a bit too hard. And it's only just slipped past the flag. I got this for par, and after the last bounce out, which I'm counting as a par, I'm a little bit terrified of this one. I had visions of that bouncing out again. What do you think of that putt on the third? Do you count that as in the hole? I mean, it's hit, um, it's hit the flagstick, just a fraction left of centre. It's hit the edge of the cup and stayed out. If I pull the flag out, that goes in. Sadly, this is all you're going to get us to see of this hole. I mucked up the recording. I missed the green slightly right, chipped on and two putted for a bogey. Well done Simon. Now to the sixth, I'm aiming down the left and relying on the wind to blow me back to the right. And there we go, absolutely perfect, just what the doctor ordered. 
leaves me 137. I don't want to be left. There's trouble left. So again, I just let this ball go on the wind to the right. Quite a lot of borrow on this one. And just for a change, this green is slightly faster. Wow, what a turn. Now I always look at a putt coming back with a slope because a ball slowing down turns at a different rate to a ball that you've just hit firmly into the back of the hole. So you've always got to double check the break because it's not the same. It is not the same going either way because of the ball speed. Right, the seventh hole. There is quite a bit of trouble here, but the wind's off the left and I'm fairly confident of hitting this driver straight. And I hit a little too straight actually, because I finished up in the left rough. But as it's the only par five on the front nine, I'm gonna have a bash at this one. Lies pretty decent. There's two bunkers in front of the green, which isn't very appetizing, but sometimes you do have to gamble. I've hit that as well as I can. And I've actually finished just short of the right hand green side bunker. Number eight, I've done an awful lot of work here with the laser. I've picked my line, picked my club. Away we go. <coughs> yeah, really, really happy with that one. I got one, two, one. Looks like the world ends at the other side of this green, but I know the A iron isn't gonna go off the back. In fact, it was a little bit fat, so it's a little bit short. I do have a birdie putt here, but it's uphill, it's into the breeze. Green is slow. I mean, that's a big hit for such a short putt. And it didn't turn right. I, I had this as quite a bit of break off the left and it just didn't turn. I got two and a half feet. I'm afraid that's a miss, that's a bogey. Ninth hole. I've managed to get my line, there is a marker post that you can't quite see from this view. And I know the hybrid isn't gonna run out of space, so hybrid it is. I get blown a little bit to the left up the slope. Now there's a marker post behind the green, so I knew exactly where to go, even though I couldn't see anything. Unfortunately, this ball really turns left on the wind. Complete miscalculation. When I got down to the green, I realized just how close I was to a lost golf ball. Right, slow green, right? So I've got to give this one a bit of a thump. 
And that was quite a hard bounce and a release. So I've got this one left for par. Right to left, up the hill. Sadly, bogey bogey finish. Well, that's part one done. Just come off for the ninth. Gagging for a drink as usual. I've got plenty in the bag. I'm just lugging this round. You don't have a spare hand. I think it'd be fair to say I'm not getting on with the greens at the moment. Um, let's see how we do in part two.